Well, hello, Pray and Share Warriors. How are y'all doing tonight? To make sure that, <laughs> I have to make sure that that's recording because sometimes it just quits. I have to make sure that my little pointer thing is not on the thing because sometimes it just stops. Okay, well tonight, oh, I want to talk to you about freedom through Jesus. Freedom through Jesus. So we have some good verses to look up here. And uh, hmm, where did my Facebook thing go? Oh, what? All right. Well, that was Chris Tomlin. YouTube went bye-bye, I guess. All right. Well, we'll do... I still want to read this um, that I just wrote. I just wrote this while ago. Mm, where's the little thing at? I'm a jigger. Well, it's hard to find these little spots. There we are. Alright, well I need... There we go. Well, that's not what I needed to do. I needed this side of Facebook open. I got here at 7.15 and I still don't have it going on. So sorry. So sorry, so sorry. I think it posted this on here. It might not have. I don't see it. I just got through posting something about resurrection power. Um, let me open it up over here. No, I'm sorry. I'm just not quite with it tonight. Ricky's watching, I mean not Ricky, Seth is watching the Three Stooges and um, their music is playing. I don't have any music because <clears throat> I took his phone with me to Stephenville today and um, I left it in there. So I won't have that. Alright. May not have made it on this. No, I don't see it. I don't know why sometimes things do not make it. Alright, well I can't read it on my phone. But I can go and get that other phone. So I'll be right back. It has Facebook too. I'm sorry. I probably maybe should have started at a good thing that I have a backup phone even though it's very slow and sometimes it just drops the internet all right so I wanted to talk to you about freedom through Jesus I've been thinking about freedom today and that song got stuck in my head resurrection power because it talks about freedom oh you know what um, I didn't share it on my page I need to go back to my other to my other page and that's where it is sorry I don't think I'm I don't know if I'm covering up the camera or not okay it is here oops Alright, 
Now I got two of these open. All right, well, this is so fun. I'm gonna put this one down here. Okay. So sorry, I might get this going one of these days. Well, show me just what I posted. I was like seeing everything that everybody else posted. Well, no, it's not. There we are. Okay, here we are. Okay, so when, after we pray, I'll be ready to go on with this. All right. I'm going to make sure that it's wide enough to where I'm not trying to guess the words that I typed in. Because sometimes I'm not very good at that. So I hope that y'all had an awesome Saturday. I got to see my granddaughter for a very, very brief moment of time. But I uh, got to give her some of my beads. And I bought her some new beads. And um, bought her a little separation deal that she can sort them in. So we like to, Kylie and I like to make things. So... I made this though when I got home because we didn't have time. This is my hashtag PF Freedom. Pray for freedom. And this is my Grandy bracelet right here. Probably can't see it on YouTube, but I like to make these letter bracelets. And I'm perfecting my technique, which um, is not my original technique. I got it from somebody else. Okay. Well, let's pray. I have chattered on long enough. Let's pray and get into talking about freedom through Jesus. God, we just come to you and we just thank you, God. We thank you for today. We thank you for all the many blessings that you've bestowed upon us, God. We just pray, God, that people would want that freedom through Jesus. Jesus is the only way. And he gives us he gives us freedom that can't even be comprehended. We just pray for the lost God. We pray that you would open their eyes and their ears to the truth, that you would allow the Holy Spirit to draw them to you and uh, to draw them to Jesus so they could be saved. And we pray for the prodigals, that they would repent and they would return to you, God, and that you would restore the relationship that you once had with them. God, we pray for all the disasters that are going on in the world, the earthquakes, the volcanoes, the flooding, all the many things, even ice storms in different places, God. We just pray that you would be with these people and that you would meet their needs. Like today it's 70 something in Texas. Um, we never know what's gonna happen, God. You are in control and we trust you fully. We pray for people that have lost loved ones, God. We pray for peace, comfort, and strength. And we just pray that they would feel your presence. We also pray, God, for people that we know that are sick, Josie and her sister and her co-worker, God. We just pray that you would heal their bodies. We thank you that um, this baby that was in the NICU, God, may get to go home tomorrow and is doing so much better. It's eating on its own and off of the oxygen, God, and we just give you all the praise for that because so many prayers have gone up. For that little baby and God we just thank you for all the many things that you do for us for being our creator our sustainer our provider our protector our shelter in the storm and in Jesus name we pray amen okay so um, first of all I'm gonna turn on my fan because it is 70 something degrees oh hot in my house and it is kind of cool outside but it's hot in my house and I kind of refuse to turn on the air conditioner until it gets just a little bit warmer because I don't even want my electric bill for this last month I don't even want it I hear that they're really high 
Okay, so this is what I hurriedly wrote tonight. Um, so I didn't write much. So this song is Resurrection Power by Chris Tomlin. And part of it says, you have given us freedom. You have given us freedom. And so that was kind of stuck in my head when I came in. I was thinking about freedom. I was thinking about a song that would go with freedom. So I love this song and message by Chris Tomlin. We have resurrection power through Jesus. I love the lyrics to this song and our youth love to sing this song. There is something so special about it. So today I've been thinking about freedom. The ones that have freedom in Jesus and the ones that do not. God created us all to have and receive this resurrection power and freedom through Jesus, but too many are caught up in bondage of sin and do not realize the freedom that they are missing out on. I remember when I was living without this resurrection power and freedom. It has not been so long that I have forgotten. We all start out the same created by God for Him to fulfill His plans and purposes in our lives. We all have free will to choose Jesus, God's one and only Son, or not. God will not force Jesus on us. We must choose. With Jesus, we receive freedom that cannot compare to anything else. It is a priceless gift from God. Are you saved today? If not, call upon the name of Jesus and be saved now. Now is the time of salvation. Time is running out, so come now. And I didn't put all the stuff that I normally put at the bottom because <clears throat> I was in a hurry. I had some milk this afternoon. So I needed a little water. Okay. <clears throat> so let's jump into the scripture. Let's see if there's any battery on my phone. Ooh, 35%. Woohoo! I take this phone with me when I take Seth places because I have some kitty songs downloaded and some, um, also some education videos loca uh, downloaded on it. So. When I take him with me and I need him entertained, I take this other phone with me. So I don't need the internet. So if it if the internet goes off, it's no big deal because I don't need it. Okay, we don't want to listen to that. I'll listen to some music. Listen to sparrows. Okay. So let's jump into our scripture. Oh, Cindy Patty is now live. I have all these pop-up things that pop up on my computer when I have Facebook open. Um, okay, let's see which our first verse is. First verse is Psalms 118.5. Okay, Psalm 118, 118.5. 118.5. Okay. I think I'm going to read. I'm going to start with one. I'll give thanks unto the Lord, for He is good, because His mercy endureth forever. Let Israel now say that his mercy endureth forever. Let the house of Aaron now say that his mercy endureth forever. Let them now that fear the Lord say that his mercy endureth forever. I called upon the Lord in distress. 
the Lord answered me and set me in a large place. The Lord is on my side. I will not fear. What can man do unto me? The Lord taketh my part with them that help me. Therefore shall I see my desire upon them that hate me. It is better to trust in the Lord than to put confidence in man. It is better to trust in the Lord than to put confidence in princes. All nations compassed me about, but in the name of the Lord will I destroy them. They compassed me about, yea, they compassed me about, but in the name of the Lord I will destroy them. They compassed me about like bees, they are quenched as the fire of thorns, for in the name of the Lord I will destroy them. So that doesn't have much to do with freedom, and it really has more to do with trust and not fearing in knowing that uh, God's mercy endureth forever. So sometimes I wonder how how they choose the scriptures that they put on here. Because sometimes they have nothing to do with what I am saying. I guess the freedom would be that God is on his side. I don't know who wrote this. Psalm 118, I'm not sure. Anyway, God is on his side and God is protecting him. I guess that would be freedom. You know, God gives him confidence. I guess that would be freedom, but I don't know sometimes why they choose some of the things that they choose. But I don't want to complain because I can put a word in there and I can get a whole list of scriptures. So, anyway. Okay, so the second, um, that's not going to be the second one. Maybe it is. Okay. No. There's a John. Okay. So John 8, 36. 8, 36. Maybe John eight thirty one through thirty six. My song's on that I can't stay still to. New Day, I love New Day by Danny Gokey. This is what I do in my car. Sorry, I can't let you listen to it. Um, okay, John eight. 31 through 36. 8. It's such a good song. You need to... I think I want to start every day with this song because it just puts me in a good mood. 8, 31, 30, through 36 says, Then said Jesus to those Jews which believed on him, if ye continue in my word, then are ye my disciples indeed, and ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. Jesus is the truth. The truth will make us free. They answered him, We be Abraham's seed, and were never in bondage to any man. How sayest thou, ye shall be made free? Jesus answered them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Whosoever committeth sin is the servant of sin. That's bondage. Sin is bondage. It might seem good, but it's bondage. Um, and the servant abideth not in the house forever, but the son abideth ever. If the son therefore shall make you free, ye shall be free indeed. I know that ye are Abraham's seed, but ye seek to kill me, because my word hath no place in you. I speak that which I have seen with my father, and ye do that which ye have seen with your father. So, Jesus makes us free. We only have freedom through Jesus. Jesus is the only way 
to be free from the bondage of sin. Jesus is the only one that can forgive us. Jesus is the way. Okay, let's see what else we have here to read. Let's try... Acts. Acts 13, 38 through 39. It's a good song too. Good God Almighty by David Crowder. Such a good song. I've kind of made me a list of songs that I want to do with the youth. Some new songs and some of the songs that they like. I'm trying to make me a, a good easy list to work from. Okay, Acts 13. 38 through 39. Okay. Thirteen. Right, I'm going to start on 37. But he whom God raised again saw no corruption. Be it known unto you, therefore, men and brethren, that through this man is preached unto you the forgiveness of sins. And by him all that believe are justified from all things from which ye could not be justified by the law of Moses. Beware, therefore, lest that come upon you, which is spoken of in the prophets. So Jesus, through forgiveness, he frees us. It didn't say free, but um, he does. He justifies us through our forgiveness, and we cannot be justified through the law of Moses, which the law of Moses is over here in the Old Testament. The law of Moses does not save us. We have to go through Jesus. Did these people have to go through Jesus? They went through God. Then God sent Jesus for us. Okay, but I think Moses and maybe Abraham, I think they spoke of Jesus. I know that uh, King David did. And many of the prophets prophesied about the coming of Jesus and what he would do. So Jesus is all throughout the Bible. Jesus was there at um, creation. Jesus is spoken of all throughout the Bible. But then you get to the New Testament, and that really tells you what Jesus' life and ministry was like, especially the Gospels. Okay, so Acts 26, 18. Okay. Now. Okay, this is Jesus talking to Paul. But rise and stand upon thy feet, for I have appeared unto thee for this purpose, to make thee a minister and witness both of these things which thou hast seen, and of those things in which I will appear unto thee delivering thee from the people and from the Gentiles unto whom now I send thee, to open their eyes and to turn them from darkness to light and from the power of Satan unto God, that they may receive forgiveness of sins and inheritance among them which are sanctified by faith that is in me. So when we receive that freedom of Jesus, our eyes are open. We have, we see spiritually. We hear spiritually. We, he, we see and hear things that we didn't see and hear before. And 
things are turned from dark to light. When we receive that forgiveness and we receive that resurrection power and that freedom through Jesus. Okay, where are we now? Acts, Romans. Romans 6, Romans 6, 7. Romans 6, 7 says, For he that is dead is freed from sin. Now if we be dead with Christ, we believe that we shall also live with him. So we are dead to sin and we are free with Christ. Romans 6.18? No, 6. Yeah, 6.18. Okay. I speak after the manner of men because of the infirmity of your flesh. For as ye have yielded your members, servants, of to uncleanness, and to iniquity, unto iniquity, to iniquity, unto iniquity, even so now yield your members, servants, to righteousness, unto holiness. For when ye were the servants of sin, ye were free from righteousness. What fruit had ye then in those things whereof ye are now ashamed? For the end of those things is death. But now, being made free from sin, and become servants to God, ye have your fruit unto holiness, and the end everlasting life. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. That's part of the Romans road, too. Okay, so Romans 6. 6. 18. Yeah, I just read that. Okay, Romans 8. 1 through 4. Romans 8. 1 through 4. There is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus, who walk not after the flesh, but after the Spirit. For the law of the Spirit of life in Christ Jesus hath made me free from the law of sin and death. For what the law could not do, in that it was weak through the flesh, God sending his own Son in the likeness of sinful flesh, and for sin condemned sin in the flesh, that the righteousness of the law might be fulfilled in us, who walk not after the flesh, but after the Spirit. Alright, so again, Jesus sets us free. We have freedom through Jesus. Free through Jesus. Okay, Romans, Galatians, I'm listening to um, Rise Up by Cain, I really like it, it's about Lazarus story of Lazarus. Okay. I'm trying to find where I am. Galatians. Galatians. Okay. I think this is the last one. Yeah. Okay. Galatians 5 1 through 13. If 
5, 1 through 13. Stand fast, therefore, in the liberty wherewith Christ hath made us free, and be not entangled again with the yoke of bondage. Sin is bondage. We do not want to be tangled up. We want to be free. Ah, being free is so much better. Behold, I, Paul, say unto you that if ye be circumcised, Christ shall profit you nothing. For I testify again to every man that is circumcised that he is a debtor to do the whole law. Christ has become of no effect unto you. Whosoever of you are justified by the law, ye are fallen from grace. For we through the Spirit wait for the hope of righteousness by faith. For in Jesus Christ neither uh, for in Jesus Christ neither circumcision availeth anything nor uncircumcision but faith which worketh by love ye did run well who did hinder you that ye should not obey the truth this persuasion cometh not of him that calleth you a little leaven leaveneth the whole lump I have confidence in you through the Lord that ye will be none otherwise minded but he that troubleth you shall bear his judgment, whosoever he be. And I, brethren, if I yet preach circumcision, why do I yet suffer persecution? Then is the offense of the cross ceased. I would they were even cut off which trouble you. For brethren, ye have been called unto liberty, only use not liberty for an occasion to the flesh, but by love serve one another. For all the law is fulfilled in one word, even in this, thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. But if ye bite and devour one another, take heed that ye be not consumed one of another. Okay, so again, our freedom comes through Jesus. Jesus is the only path to freedom. He gives us all the freedom that we want, but that doesn't mean that we use our freedom to continually stay in sin because we know that He will forgive us. We need to realize that that freedom is a gift. All right. Well, that is all the scriptures that I have tonight about freedom. If you think of anything that you think goes well with that, then please put it in the comments. If you have any comments, please put it in the comments. If you come by, put your name in the comments. Sometimes I can't see who came and who did not come. And um, if you have any prayer requests, if you get saved and you want me to pray for you, Put it in the comments. If you're searching, if you're searching, okay, God, are you real? Is Jesus real? Because we do question. We question until we get saved. So just put your name in the comments. I will pray for you. I will pray that God will reveal himself in such a mighty way that you will have no doubt that it's him. Because he can and will show up like that. He does for me all the time. It's just like I was I was wondering today, I was listening to music and I was going, okay, what is my song message today? I knew I was going to talk about freedom through Jesus, but this song that I shared a while ago just popped up into my head. You know, resurrection power and, you know, part of it says freedom. You have given us freedom. You know, Jesus gives us freedom, and He gives us that resurrection power. And He just gives us so many things. As our shepherd, He takes care of us. You know, we talked about last night that as our shepherd, He takes care of us. Um, I'll just, for the life of me, I don't know why more people don't accept Jesus. Excuse me. Accept Jesus as their Savior. For the life of me, I don't get it. Of course, I grew up with a mother that 
not only taught us about Jesus, she was that example of Jesus. She walked in the light. She was that servant. She made sure we got to church. And I'm realizing as I get older, not everybody has grown up like that. Many people have grown up in horrible situations. Many people have not had that model of uh, Christianity in their home. Many people have gone through horrific things in their own homes as children. And it just breaks my heart. It really does. And people go, well, how? why would God let that happen to kids? Well, it's not God. It's adults that are in charge that make these decisions that affect their innocent children. It's not God. God does not choose that. God did not choose that for you. Please don't blame him because he did not choose that for you. He would not have chose that for you. He loves you. And it broke his heart every time that that person misused you. So please don't be mad at God. I was mad at God when my dad died. He was my hero. And he died when I was 15. I was mad at God. I rebelled. But I wish I could have that time back serving God, that time of rebellion, I wish I could have back, but we can't. We have to put our past in the past, and we have to live in the present, and we have to live in today, and we have to let God take care of tomorrow because we don't know what's coming tomorrow. So we live in the present. We live in today. We live in freedom through Jesus. We live free. We live free from the bondage of sin. And it is bondage. It is not freedom. I know it feels like freedom. It's like, hey, I'm out here doing what I want to do, and I don't care what people think. But really, you do care. Really, we do care. When we are in sin, we really do care. We really know it's wrong. We can feel that it's wrong. Um, so let's see if somebody wants to get saved. Let's we'll see how we're going to do it tonight. How about the E-Band? I really like the E-Band. I am so glad that TJ bought these so that I can share this with you. Although it is really hard to do with two different cameras, but that's okay. Nobody needs to see my lips on this other one. Okay, well that is, I am not going to read it in Spanish. So this has Spanish on one side and English on the other side. So if you ever want one of these, we have these at our church. Just let me know. I'll get you one and I'll drop it in the mail to you if you want to just put it in the comments. If you would like one of my Pray for Freedom bracelets, which is about human trafficking, that's why it's pink and blue, then um, let me know. Let me know. Okay. So for I am not ashamed of the gospel because it is God's power for salvation to everyone who believes. Romans 1.16 So I'm listening to there is power in the name of Jesus. <laughs> not a coincidence. Not a there are no coincidences, just God's perfect timing. Okay, the gold, the gold represents God, the creator of all, who lives in heaven. The Bible says that God is light, and in him there is no darkness. God is perfect. God loves you, and he wants you to have a personal, he wants to have a personal relationship with you, Jesus is God's Son. The Bible says that Jesus and God are one. Well, Jesus himself said that, too. That him and God are one. And I think we read that, if not tonight, another night. Okay, so now we have the 
uh, black with a question mark. The dark color represents sin, which is doing wrong things. God says that all have sinned and fall short of God's standard of perfection. Sin separates us from God. The Bible says that the penalty for our sin is death or separation from God forever. So the first question mark is asking, how can your sins be removed so that you can know God? So the next color is red. I'm trying to make it to where all the colors don't show. The next color is red. The red color represents Jesus' blood. Jesus lived a perfect and sinless life, but he died on a cross to pay the penalty for all of our sin. Again, the payment for sin is death. So Jesus paid the penalty for each of us. Why, the Bible says, For God so loved the world that he sent his one and only Son that whosoever believes in him will not perish but will have everlasting life. Um, the good news is that you don't have to be separated from God forever by sin. So the next question mark is the red question mark. The white color represents each of us after our sins are washed away by Jesus. How can Jesus wash our sins away? When we believe in Jesus by following him, our sins are forgiven. The Bible says if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. Romans 10, 9. So this question Mark is asking, have you accepted Jesus' gift of forgiveness by believing in him? And so I'm going to say this prayer I'm sorry, I gotta scratch my eye first. I'm gonna say this prayer. And I'm gonna I'm gonna put a gap to where if you want to repeat this after me, you can. So let's pray. God, thank you for loving me. I confess that I have sinned against you. I believe that your son Jesus died on a cross to pay for my sins and that you raised Jesus from the dead. I now put my faith only in Jesus to forgive me and save me from my sins. I confess that Jesus is Lord. Thank you for your gift of eternal life. I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, so if you prayed that prayer, welcome to the Kingdom Family of God. The green on this bracelet represents growth in your relationship with God. These symbols show the areas of growth. So we have a heart. The greatest commandment is that we love the Lord our God with all our heart, soul, mind, and strength, and that we love our neighbors as ourselves. Love God, love people. And then the Bible the little Bible emblem. Read the Bible each day to learn more about God and His love. And then we got the prayer symbol. Pray to God constantly and share your thoughts, needs, and desires with Him.
and then the next emblem is a water droplet. When we are baptized, we are telling the world that we have committed our lives to Jesus and that we are a new person, like being born all over again. So then you have the handshake, the hang out with other Christians and encourage each other. Church is a good place to start. And then you have the world and the cross. Share the good news that Jesus can forgive sins when we trust in him. Tell as many people as you can. So this is the E-Band. This is from E-Band.com. It's called the E-3-Band. And so we have these at our church. If you'd like one, mess, um, yeah, you can message me or um, put it in the comments. And I'll get with you and I'll get your address and I can mail it. I bought me some little bubble mailers and I'm excited to use them. I think for like a dollar I can probably mail things. So if you want to order a bracelet, I'm making these now. Pray for freedom. That's a PF. Pray for freedom. Hashtag PF freedom. That's going to be my my new thing freedom is just a, a word that God gave me one day and so I wanted to do something with freedom because not only freedom for child traf trafficking but freedom from the bondage of sin too so I'm probably going to make some more that aren't pink and blue that are the colors of the uh, salvation and uh, probably sell some of those too. Anyway, I don't know what I'm selling them for. I'm thinking five dollars. It doesn't cost a whole lot to make them. Pony beads are pretty cheap. I have tons of these. I have tons of these. And so until I get them all made up. Anyway. I think I made I think I made both of these too big or one of them too big I'll have a small wrist it's about the only small thing I have but I may have to drop some beads off of yeah I'll have to take them all off that not tonight not tonight I'm not gonna do that tonight okay well let us do um, a blessing from God for y'all. I cannot bless you, but God can. He can bless you in all kinds of ways. I wonder how much battery I have on my phone. Oh, I'm good. I'm good. I've been like, I don't know. I didn't charge my phone all the way. And so I've been struggling with. I don't know why I have insoftonic.com pop-ups all the time. Fixing to get rid of them though. Okay, so this is a blessing from God in Numbers 6, 24 through 26. The Lord bless thee and keep thee. The Lord make his face shine upon thee and be gracious unto thee. The Lord lift up his countenance upon thee and give thee peace. Wow, we need peace. We need peace in this country. In this wonderful country, we need our country to be one nation under God. It's been a long time, though. It's been a long time since we've been one nation under God. And we have slowly been sliding the other direction. But you know what? We're going to pray. We're going to pray for freedom for everybody. We're going to pray for salvation for everybody. Because that is the only way to be free. Is through Jesus. When they take away all of our rights. If, they did, if they're successful in taking away all of our rights. Which they want to. They're not going to take that freedom away. That freedom cannot be stripped from us. We're always going to be free through Jesus. Always always okay well, let's pray I'm gonna pray for my friend she didn't come tonight I may text her and see if she's okay 
because I didn't talk to her yesterday either. Today's kind of been an action-packed day. I went and saw my granddaughter and gave her her birthday present. Her birthday was on the 9th, but she was having her party today, but it was like a girl's party. And I have my son. My husband went to do something else, so I have my son, so I didn't think that would be right to take him. So, anyway. I'll go to her party next year. Or you know what? I'll have a party do-over at my house one of these days. I'm still waiting to do my birthday party do-over from last year. It was a flop. Because we were quarantining. and that's when the quarantine first started here in our town. And we didn't know what to think, so I didn't go anywhere. I didn't want to eat restaurant food. I didn't, you know... Anyway, that's all good. It's just a day. It's just a day. And when we get to heaven, do you think our birthdays are going to be anything? Probably not. We're just going to be so blown away with what we see. It's going to be so awesome. We can't even imagine how awesome it's going to be. I know so many people that have gone lately through death. And uh, I miss them terribly. But if they can't get well here, I don't want them stuck in this place. In our failing bodies. Not when we have perfect bodies waiting for us. Sure do miss my friend Margie, though. <laughs> sure do. Especially on Sundays. It's hard. She was my Sunday school class. She was the only student I had. And uh, we were studying Revelation. And she's enjoying the very best part of Revelation now. Sure do miss her though. But I'll see her again. Maybe she'll show me around heaven. Maybe she'll be who shows me around heaven. I have other friends. I have my mom, my dad there. I have lots of people there. Lots of aunts and uncles. Lots of church family church family saints they're there sure miss them but I don't want them here sick and if that was God's plan for them to go then I want them to be there alright well let's pray I don't know how I got there but let me encourage you again one more time if you did not get saved tonight but you feel like something is moving inside you and that is the Holy Spirit drawing you to Jesus. So be willing to listen. Be willing to, if nothing else, go in and start reading Matthew. Read about Jesus. Read about who Jesus is. And uh, get saved. Be set free. Accept freedom through Jesus. Don't be stuck in bondage. Bondage is not a treasure that we are going to have in heaven we're going to have so much better so let me pray for us god we just come to you and i just pray for josie god and her her co-worker and her sister god we just pray for healing for these three ladies we just pray that you would give them strength and help them to overcome whatever they have god we pray that you would be with their families and uh, we pray for um, peace, love, and unity, God, that comes through Jesus. And it's the only way to have true peace, love, and unity, and compassion is through Jesus. So, God, we just pray. We pray for Jesus, a Jesus movement that no one has ever experienced before. God, we pray to be part of that movement. We pray to be part of the workers of the last harvest. The last harvest before the tribulation, God. We pray to be those workers. Give us boldness, God, to share your truths and to share the gospel of Jesus. Help us to spend more time in your word and in your presence, God. Help us to testify of the things that you've done in our lives and to encourage others. 
and just to be the light of Jesus. Help us to be that example. Help us just to be who you need us to be, God. Help us to fulfill the plans and purposes that you have in our lives. Help us to be willing to let you be the artist in our lives and for you to be the potter in our lives and for us to be the canvas and the clay, God. Just help us to be who you need us to be. And in Jesus' name we pray, amen. All right, my friends, my pray and share warriors. Have an awesome rest of your night and an awesome tomorrow. Have an awesome Sunday. Try to go and learn more about God. Try to go and worship God. And our church is always available. We are in Walnut Springs. Walnut Springs Baptist Church. Our Sunday school starts at 930 and our worship starts at 11 and you are always welcome. You will feel love when you come in the door. COVID's a little bit different. We're not quite as huggy as we used to be, but we're getting back to that. We're getting back to the hugging thing. But you will feel love. You will feel compassion. You will feel unity. You will feel all those things that Jesus gives. And um, so much love, much love. I don't know if I can do that. Much love. Oh, I can do it. Uh, kind of. Not real good at that. Much love and cyber hugs. And good night.